this video I'm going to show you how to improve your design and just put on extra features and extra little things that will improve the design so that your client will enjoy the your, your picture more. The first thing that we, we can do to, to really improve this design is to put on your your plinths, your worktops, your light rails and your your, your, your capping on top. This will, will improve it quite dramatically. Uh, let's have a look at it and see, see what it looks like. There we go. You'll notice that I've added in the plinths, the light rails, the capping and, and the worktops. Now you, you did that by just going to call and auto features and it would add all those on automatically for you. The next step that we can, that we can do to, to improve this design is to improve the lighting and also just put in fixtures, plates and, and so forth onto the, the worktop. And the way to do that is just to go tools, auto graphics will put in will put in the fixtures on top of your counter and auto lighting will, will put in your down lights. It's the first step that you need to do to improve your lighting. So let's let's add both those in. There we go. We've added in some fixtures. You'll notice the cups and sources, the plants, the clock, and it's done that all around the room. And if you had glass units it would add uh, certain things inside the, the glass units as well. Also the, the down lights would have come into the, the glass units as well. Now you'll notice the first step has been taken with, with the, the lighting but it still isn't great. We, we're going to improve it now and make it to the, the best of its ability. So let's have a look at that. There we go. Our lighting's dramatically improved now in, in our design. There's no huge light in the middle of the room. There's also nice even spacing of the lighting so we can see all the all the doors the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put sunlight through the window and um, that's also nice lighting to to put in just to give you uh, that extra effect from there you would also add on a blind onto the windows so that you can see also that contrasting that contrast so let's let's put on the blind and put in the sunlight through through the window Okay, there's our sunlight coming through the windows. We've put the blind on. It just gives it a nice, a nice effect on on the walls. This finishes it off nicely. The next thing that we're going to do is put a background on, which outside the windows. It just gives it a bit more color uh, to your design. So let's let's do that. You you would go just click on your your eyeball. You change it from future vision, and you would click on background, which will will do it for you. There we go. You can see just the, the difference it makes uh, just having a background, just having an extra color there. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to change a the theme from, from none on advanced graphics to to allspice or something different because we, we don't want to these these floor tiles or these plain white walls in the ceiling. Let's change it to, to something that we, we can. So you go change, change default style, go to advanced graphics and you'll notice here if I click on undefined and put it to future vision it's on themes none I'm going to change it to to all spice so it's just going to change things around you can change it to any of these themes that you you want here so let's do that and click on OK and let's have a look and see what it looks like there we go that makes a huge difference to to how it looks instead of it just the plain white walls even if the customer is not going to to maybe paint it like or you're not going to paint it for the customer it's just nice to to make the kitchen stand out so that your customer will, will see the improvements the next thing we're going to do is put splashbacks uh, over the along the, the sides here and all the way up to the extractor so let's do that there we go splashbacks are included and the splashback all the way up to the extractor is, is also done the nice thing that you can do now is put on the ceiling cornices and the floor skirting those will make a, a just a, a nice difference instead of having a square edge end at the top it will just finish it off nicely so let's put add in those skirtings and add in those ceiling cornices there we go a nice improvement with adding ceiling cornices as well as floor skirting to your your designs so the, there's a couple couple more things that you can do you can you can put it on radiosity if, if you've got enough time you can go to view and global illumination ultra 
which will make the de design a, a lot better. But that's only if you've got about 30 minutes to, to spare. But this, this video has shown you how to, to improve your designs. And you, you, can, you can improve it more by changing colors. For instance, you can change the appliance colors. Um, and let's do that before, before we end. Okay, there, there we go. I've changed the fridge colors. I've also taken the liberty of putting little fixtures from in the advanced graphics catalog, like a, a bag on the floor and a cat on the floor. And also lights on the on the ceiling. I, I just went to star lamp, and you'll notice you've got all these different lights that are are here. And I took the the lamp rail, lamp track over here, and I added those to the to the ceiling as well. Again, star cat. There's there's the cat there. And I added that in. Now, if you're wanting to turn the lights on for these lamps, you can do that just by going change change default style, go to advanced graphics and you'll notice here it's got down the bottom it's got um, appliance okay I changed the the room options to, to catalog options and you'll notice here it's got lighting you put that on standard level lighting and and you press OK and it will turn the lamps on for you and there we you'll see it now there we go you can see the lights are on. It's a bit brighter now, so y you can see the lights are actually hitting the hitting the cupboards, and that's that's how easy it is to to improve your design. It's it's made a a dramatic impact on on this design. So if you want to spend ten minutes of your time just to improve it, it's well worth your your time, and it's it's really beneficial to to your customers. All these little tips and tricks are, are all found on the, on the blog. So if you type in lighting. And if you type in anything, changing colors to to backgrounds to to arc, like ceiling cornices and ceiling skirting, you can you can type those in and find all these these different lessons there. Let's show you ex the what will happen if you put on the global illumination ultra. So click on your your eyeball, and finally click on this, and it will take a little while. But this is if you really want to impress your your customer. So let's let's see what what it looks like now. And here we can see our magnificent view of the global illumination. You can see the light coming in off the the door and the the great effects that it can give you. Now this does take a little while, but you can get these magnificent views in the in the new version 15. You can improve it and just make it a bit lighter. So and contrast it. and you you can play around with it until you're happy with with the the general picture that you that you want and until you you're happy with it then you can print it and show it to your your customers thank you very much for for watching this video